Hey guys, iOS 18 developer beta is here and we've already talked about the top features of iOS 18 this time. But now let's talk about all of the hidden features of iOS 18 that were not talked about in the WWDC keynote. So right here we have an iPhone that has iOS 18 developer beta in it. So now let's talk about the first hidden feature. That is the adjustable flashlight because if we toggle on the flashlight icon here on the control center you can see this flashlight animation and we can also control the brightness of the flashlight directly from here not just that you can also control the width of the flashlight by just sliding it from here so now let's talk about the second one for that we have to first go to settings and here just tap on battery and now tap on charging and now you can see this charge limit slider which was not present there before in iOS 17. But keep in mind that this feature is only available in iPhone 15 series. So now you can manually select your charging limit from 80 to 100%. As before that was not the case. Apart from this, if we scroll down and here go to the control center, now at the top right you'll see this power icon. And if I just tap on it, I can directly power off my iPhone right from here. As in iOS 17, we didn't have that option. And while we're here at the control center, you can also see that right in this section, there used to be the icon of mobile data, but now it's of airdrop. And if I just tap and hold here, though I can delete this section, but I won't be able to rearrange all of the icons. So it's just a small change. And also in iOS 18, we can resize and drag our widgets right at the home screen. So if I just tap and hold here, here you'll see the option of edit widget and at the bottom you'll see these icons and I can resize my widget right from these icons. And again if I tap and hold and go to edit home screen and here you'll see this option here if I just tap and hold here and then I can also resize like this as well. And now for an extra layer of security iOS 18 also has the option to rotate Wi-Fi address. So for that go to settings and here tap on Wi-Fi and choose the Wi-Fi that you are using and then here select on the I button. And now you'll see this option of rotate Wi-Fi address. Just toggle it on. As this will periodically change your Wi-Fi address so that other devices or people on the same network as you won't recognize your device. And now in iMessage we can also preview link cards for other third party apps as well. As previously in iOS 17 that was the case with only Safari. So if I just tap and hold here and paste my link of Instagram, then you can see that I am seeing the preview link here. And let's just send this message. And the preview of this link will be shown right here in iMessages. And not just that, iOS 18 has also introduced T9 dialing for the first time in iPhone. So if I just go to the phone app here, and here let's type my name as number. And as you can see, I've been showing all of the phone numbers related to that name. And apart from this, Apple has also added this cool animation whenever you tap the buttons here. I'm being shown a subtle animation that will play that helps visually confirm your inputs of your buttons. And now with the new passwords app, you can also share your Wi-Fi passwords with the QR code. So you just have to tap here show network QR code and that way anybody can scan your particular Wi-Fi network. And since this QR code is stored in Apple's passwords app, that way you can access it across all of your devices too. And now if I go back again to the home screen and here if I again just tap and hold and then I tap on edit and tap on customize and here if I just select large then my app icon size have changed but the name of the apps have also gone and that way you can also hide the name of the apps but keep in mind that the size of your app icons will be much larger and lastly after dragging its feet for years Apple has finally introduced the RCS support with iOS 18 which basically means that most of the functionality that we saw in iMessages can now also be applied to people who use Android device when you are messaging them However, the green bubbles will still be shown. And not just that, whenever you are playing an audio, you can still record video with iOS 18. So to do that, first go to settings and then go to camera and here tap on record sound. And here you'll see this option of allow audio playback. And at the bottom it's written that audio playback will not pause when recording a video. So that way when you'll record a video, your audio either from Apple Music or YouTube will still be playing while recording the video simultaneously. So those were all of the iOS 18 hidden features that I've found till now. 
do let me know in the comment section that which one you have found that I missed. And if you've reached there, then don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and family, and also don't forget to subscribe to iGeeks Blog.